of Samsung's smaller smart TVs hanging in the bedroom. And these have speakers that point downwards. I like the older model a lot better to have the speakers on each side. These really are not very good. So I wanted to put a speaker bar underneath here, but it needs to be able to swing back and forth with the TV because we use it sometimes when we're on the treadmill. This is hanging on quite a heavy duty wall map that was designed for heavier earlier model TVs. So I wanted to come up with a way to hang that speaker bar. These thin TVs appear to be fairly flimsy and I didn't want to hang any more weight on one and not to do anything that might void the warranty on the TV. The angle of this TV has been adjusted, we're happy with it, and I don't foresee needing to change that in the future. I wanted to utilize these existing slots to make a bracket so I could hang the speaker bar under the TV. It would rest against the back of the TV and not block the original TV speakers. We have the speaker bar and the base speaker is looking straight up. On the back of the speaker you use a mounting bracket. And I need about three quarters of an inch extra clearance to get that to engage. The mounting bracket is going to come across like so and I need to give that speaker some place to broadcast. Hopefully, having this behind the TV will sound okay. Usually with the bass, it's not that big an issue. This is the bracket I came up with. You have a hole for the bass speaker. The mounting bracket for the speaker attaches here. This is the attachment point on the slots for the TV wall mount, and this rests against the back of the TV. Glued and screwed together. I used a total of 16 drywall screws in here. I don't think it'll fall apart. And the bracket will fit on the speaker bar like that. Just going to use a drill bit to temporarily hold that in position. The speaker is mounted onto this piece. This rests against the back of the TV. And the original speakers are still open. Put a coat of black paint on here so it's not so obvious. The weight of the speaker just holds it up against the back of the TV. And if that jiggles around too much, I'll put a little double-sided tape back there. I run these two screws in here and I'll keep that speaker bar from accidentally coming out of those mounting slots. Works pretty well. Now that speaker can't come out of there. Neaten up the wires with some cable ties and the HDMI cable I ordered for this hasn't come in yet. So we'll try it out with these. I've read some reviews on this speaker bar that said that it didn't work very conveniently, that people had to use two remotes or get up and, and manually turn the speaker bar on and off. That does not appear to be the case with this TV. With the HDMI cable going from HDMI out on the speaker bar to HDMI in arc on the TV, it works perfectly well. If I turn the TV off, the speaker bar goes off. When I turn the TV on, it automatically switches over to the speaker bar. And the volume is controlled from the TV remote. She was a kid yesterday and now she is the best. 
and I find that the bass speaker as I installed it with the hole in that hanging bracket is quite sufficient especially for a small room like the bedroom. So far I think these are performing quite well. Much better than the original TV speakers.